guys. So starting off, you need a bare face. Yes, girl. Yes. And then I went ahead and did my brows and primed my eyes because we do not need any extra steps, okay? And can I have a freaking round of applause for this palette? Oh my gosh, you guys. The Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. It's my freaking baby right now. Yes, girl. Oh, I cannot explain it, but y'all need it and y'all need it now in y'all's lives. Run and go get it. So starting off, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe M441 brush and then just putting Beaches and Cream all up in my crease to make sure to have a nice transition shade. Now when I first got this color, I was like, this just looks like a brow bone highlight, like matte brow bone color. But no, um, as long as you keep building it up, it works. But if you're darker skinned, this will be a perfect brow bone highlight color. You know, just matte if you don't like any shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. All right. Moving on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> now going in with the Morphe M433. This is the perfect, perfect, what? Perfect <laughs> cut crease brush. I feel like it is. It's just perfect for blending all the colors out and then starting off the base for your cut crease. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to be doing um, outlining kind of my crease, but just going a little bit upwards instead of right in the depth of the crease and then flinging it out. Like if you're kind of doing like, the base of what you would do a wing liner on your lid, but instead you're doing it with eyeshadow and in your crease. Y'all know what I'm saying? Do y'all know what I'm saying? Probably not. Maybe not. Mostly not. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. So anyways, um, get a Q-tip to really make that shape. Just lightly brush it through so you can see how I got that kind of shape to it. Now going in with this pencil brush, I'll have everything listed down below, all, all the brushes, everything that I used. So this pencil brush I'm going to be going in with, oh my gosh, how did I forget? Mars, Mars, going in with Mars. I'm going to be definitely putting that more into the depths of my crease and really outlining where I want my cut crease to start. You know what I mean? How many times did I say that? Oh my gosh, sorry guys. So anyways, I'm going to be bringing this down into my inner corner, like towards the end, the beginning of my lid, not inner corner wise, but y'all see what the heck I'm talking about and then just flinging everything out. Alright, so after I have that done, I'm just going to be cleaning up wherever I went a little too ham. And let's be honest here, the Q-tip is my best friend throughout this whole tutorial. So as long as you got Q-tips and decent blending brushes, you'll be good. You will be good. Alright, so now with this brush, the E18, oh my gosh, this is a holy freaking grail. If you do not have this brush, it's a staple, like you need it in your life. So with this, I'm just going to be blending out that red. I'm not adding any red with this brush, but just blending it out. So after that, I'm going back in with Sora to really blend those colors together and for it to be nice and clean. So now what I'm doing here is actually cutting the crease with concealer, but I definitely do not, do not freaking suggest this, honestly. I mean, yeah, look at that freaking cut crease. It looks awesome. But I definitely suggest like using a paint pot from MAC or even a, uh, what is it called, Maybelline color tattoo, like a cream, kind of more of a cream shadow, but it's more sticky, so that when you go back in, it's, you'll see what the heck I'm talking about in a little bit, but after I cut the crease, as you can see, um, I just start put adding in a little bit more of Mars, sorry, I was going to say blending, and then I was like, no, that's not what I'm going to do, <laughs> so just adding in a little bit of Mars to really define that cut crease a little bit more, since we lost it a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm repeating myself a lot. I'm so sorry. So after, we're going to be using Insomnia to really pack on that color. And you can see what I'm talking about. It's starting to look a little bit chunky and my eyelid's looking like it's 50 years old. Like it wrinkled big time. You'll see in a little bit. It just looks really... You, uh, I don't know if y'all can see it, but to me it just looks real chunky. It doesn't look smooth. My eyelid looks like it has tons of wrinkles but it's because I went in with concealer and then set it with powder and then went back in with insomnia that was nice and wet so that's why it looks that way so what I did is just pat insomnia in with my finger that's the best thing that I can do and then this eye is just regular I did not like straight up cut the crease with the other one so all I'm doing right there is just adding in that little bit of red again which is Mars and then blending out Sora and Mars together so everything is nice and cohesive so if you do not have um, uh, any paint pot anything like that or like a cream or shadow cream shadow cream or shadow <laughs> um, you can just use any angled brush and to really cut that crease and define it. So that's what I did on this side instead of like the other one. 
came out pretty much the same effect so I mean I like to cut the crease but next time I'm getting me a paint pot for sure for sure so right here I'm just going to be using the NYC liquid liner in black this is like three bucks I believe Target sells it uh Walgreens used to sell it I don't know if y'all y'all's Walgreens will but Target for sure sells it so look there and just really bring that wing towards the cut crease there you go bring it there bring it there well the look I'm going for is like super elongated huge wing meeting the cut crease so that's just what I was going for and then after you do that just go ahead and connect it towards your inner corner and what I'm going to be doing is flinging it out flinging it why do I keep saying flinging is it flinging or flicking I'm flicking okay I'm flicking it out <laughs> so I'm flicking it out right here and just make sure you connect it still from your lid towards the inner corner because if they don't see what I'm, how I'm connecting them here, if you don't connect them, you're just going to look crazy. So just keep looking up and down while you're doing this to make sure it looks even. Because it, you're looking down while you're doing it, and when you look up and it's not even connected, you're not going to look good. It's not going to look good. So after we have all that done and good to go, we're going to let that liner kind of set. And then I'm just going to clean up that hot mess of everything that was going on with all these shadows. Just with any wipey. That's why I suggest doing this without foundation on beforehand. Okay, finally, so out of breath. But anyways, we're going to be using the Milani 2-in-1 foundation. And do not forget to bring that down to your neck. This foundation is freaking bomb. Definitely for more combination to oily skin. But it is so full coverage. This is the lightest color. I think it's um, classic ivory or creamy ivory. It's not even ivory. It's vanilla. My bad. It's vanilla. So all I'm doing after I blended everything out and highlighted, I'm just going to be setting everything with translucent powder. I use Airspun. I'm cheap. That's what I use. I've been trying to get the RCMA one, but it's sold out everywhere. So if y'all know where I can get it, please let me know down in the description box because I heard it's freaking bomb. So now I'm just going to be bronzing my face per usual. Y'all can definitely skip through this part if y'all don't want to see what the heck I'm doing. And do not forget your jawline or if you have a double chin, this really helps to conceal as much as you can okay just create some shadows okay <laughs> so after that I'm just gonna be mixing these two colors and then really deepening up that contour up and honestly you guys if you do not have this contour palette you need it in your life it's only like $22 and it has a highlight shade like a shimmery highlight shade so if you're looking for a good contour palette especially on the cheaper side this is freaking amazing. I honestly like it better than my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. That's how good it is. So all I'm doing is going to be highlighting under my eyes, nose, um, cupid's bow. To just bring me some light in my life. And do not forget some blush. You don't have to use blush, but this is my favorite blush at the moment. So that's what I was going to do. And then I'm using Champagne Pop. As you can obviously tell in the expression of my face, I am dying. This is not limited edition anymore. You can buy it anytime now. That's how freaking good it is so just on top of the cheekbones a little bit above the brow bone how y'all saw that I did and then on my nose and on my cupid's bow so you could be shining like a diamond okay and then I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna be um really cooking right under and clean up that mess I like to use that little wet and wild foundation brush it is so good it's only three dollars go out and get it girl stop dancing stop dancing so after that while we're baking and letting everything set I'm gonna go back in with Sora and really smoke out that lower lash line I'm using this angled fluffy brush because that's what I wanted to use okay <laughs> so after that just going back in with Mars in the pencil brush we're Putting this more closer to the lash line, but after you have that color distributed, just make sure to smoke it out from inner corner to outer corner because you want it all to be nice and cohesive. That's the way I wanted it. That's the way I envisioned it, so that's what we're doing. So after that, we're going to be using roulette in the waterline, and do not forget to tight line. Also, after you have both of those things done, oh my goodness, girlfriend, exorcist up in here. All right, moving on. So just go ahead and put that into your lower lash line, but you want to really bring that nice and tight. And then after you have it evenly distributed with nothing on this brush, go ahead and smudge it out. And then I wanted it a, a little bit darker, so I went ahead and lightly added some black and then smoked it out some more. But you just really want to be careful with black. Black is messy. Black is not your friend. Let me tell you that much, so be very careful. So after that, I just curled my lashes, and I'm going to be applying Goddess Lashes by Coco Lashes. 
that's a lot of lashes. <laughs> so after those, um, after my mascara is kind of tacky, that's the way I do it. I don't curl my lashes after all that. I just press them together with my finger and they do not come undone. I love it. It's like the best trick that I have for y'all. So after that, just clean up any eyeshadow follow and then I'm just going to be covering up that glue from my lash band with liquid liner and then cleaning up the little mess that it left on my lashes. And do not forget mascara on your lower lashes. That is a big, big one. Do not forget that <laughs> palette on if you can. And then after that, I'm going to be using, um, how can I forget this? What the heck is going on in my brain today? The Kylie Lip Kit in Candy K. This is my favorite nude. The formula is amazing. Um, I am going to be honest with y'all. I kept smiling a lot with this one, and it just started crumbling at my top lip. Maybe I'll just smile too hard. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to try it again and see what happens. But I wore it all day one day, and it was freaking bomb. So maybe it was just me that day. So other than that, spray yourself with 10 gallons of Fix Plus and you are good to go. Yes, let's just be honest. It took me like six hours to film this video because I had so many setbacks. But other than that, I love the way it turned out. I hope y'all liked it too. Do not forget to like and subscribe if y'all did like it. If y'all did like me, you know, don't be shy, okay? Do not be shy. I love hearing from y'all. But other than that, thank you guys again. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all later. See ya. Yeah, all things are well